Hi everybody again, uh, Grammy Deb here, and um, I just got some new books in the mail. I ordered these. These aren't from the library. I ordered these from Amazon, and this is a series of books, and this is the first six books in the series, and um, there's a more, a whole bunch more, so um, I'm going to read one of them to you today. This is a, a level two reader. And so it's a, for the little bit older boys um, and girls. Uh, it's kind of cute. I, I read one at my library and I liked it, so that's why I ordered it. Um, it's called Henry and Mudge. And uh, the reason I ordered it because I wanted to start with the first book because the first book tells you a little bit more about Mudge and Henry. And then they're in all the other books too, okay? So... Uh, and then also later um, on, an, on another video, I'm going to start to read some chapter books. And there's two chapter books that I'm going to read. One's going to be The Wizard of Oz, because um, as uh, Ava knows, that's my favorite. Her and I went to see The Wizard of Oz. So I'm going to read The Wizard of Oz, and, uh, and I'm also going to read Hank, um, the cow dog. And this this will be a chapter book, as you can see, it's a chapter book. So this will be on another video for the older kids. Okay, so this one is called Henry and Mudge, the first book. We get zoomed in here so we can do the pages, and we'll get started. Okay, Henry and Mudge, the first book, and this story is by. Cynthia Ryland, R-Y-L-A-N-T, Ryland, I believe it is. The first book in their adventures, and this is a, starts chapter one, is Henry. Henry had no brothers and no sisters. I want a brother, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no friends on his street. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you get a little bit better picture. Okay, okay. I want to live on a different street, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no pets at home. I want to have a dog, he told his parents. Sorry, they almost said. But first they looked at their house with no brothers and sisters. And they looked at their street with no children. Then they looked at Henry's face. He must have looked sad. Then they looked at each other. Okay, they said. I want to hug you, Henry told his parents. And he did. There's Henry giving his parents a big hug. Mudge is chapter two. Henry searched for a dog. Not just any dog, said Henry. Not a short one, he said. Not a curly one, he said. And no pointed ears. Then he found Mudge. Mudge had floppy ears, not pointed, and Mudge had straight fur, not curly. And But Mudge was short because he was a puppy, Henry said. He'll grow. And did he ever. He grew out of his puppy cage. He grew out of his dog cage. And he grew out of seven collars in a row. And when he finally stopped growing, look at all those collars. Look, he wasn't he a cute little puppy? There he is as a puppy. He weighed 180 pounds. 180 pounds. 
he stood three feet tall and he drooled. Do you know what drool is? That's when doggies slobber and it runs down their face. I'm glad you're not short, said Henry said, and Mudge licked him, then sat on him. Mudge looks like a fun dog. Chapter 3, Henry. Henry used to walk to school alone. When he walked, he used to worry about tornadoes, ghosts, biting dogs, and bullies. He walked as fast as he could. He looked straight ahead. He never looked back. But now he walked to school with Mudge. And now when he walked, he thought about vanilla ice cream, rain, rocks, and good dreams. He walked to school, but not too fast. He walked to school, to school and sometimes backwards. He walked to school and patted Mudge's big head happy. We're back to Mudge again. Mudge loved Henry's room. He loved the dirty socks. He loved the stuffy bear. He loved the fish tank. But mostly, he loved Henry's bed. Look at him looking at all them things, but boy, oh boy, doesn't he like the bed there. Because in Henry's bed was Henry. Mudge loved to climb in with Henry. Then he loved to smell him. He smelled his lemon hair. He smelled his milky mouth. He smelled his soapy ears. He smelled his chocolate fingers. Then he put his head by Henry's head. He looked at the fish tank. He looked at the bear. He looked at Henry. He licked him and he fell asleep. The next chapter is Mudge again. One day Mudge took a walk without Henry. The sun was shining. The birds were flying. The grass smelled sweet. Mudge couldn't wait for Henry so he left. He went down one road, sniffing the bushes, then down another road, kicking up dust. He w went through a field, across a stream, into some pine trees, and when he came out on the other side, lost. Oh no, that's not good. Mudge got lost. He couldn't smell Henry. He couldn't smell his front porch. He couldn't smell the street he lived on. Mudge looked all around and didn't see anything or anyone he knew. He whined a little. Alone without Henry, then he laid down, alone without Henry. He missed Henry's bed. Let's make sure I showed you that page. I can't remember. That's the page where he got lost. And there, he laid down, all alone without Henry. He looks sad. Now we're back to Henry. Henry thought Mudge would be with him always. He thought Mudge made everything safe. He thought Mudge would never go away. And when Mudge did go away, when Henry called and called but Mudge didn't come, Henry's heart hurt and he cried for an hour. 
But when he finished crying, Henry said, Mudge loves me. He wouldn't leave. He must be lost. So Henry walked and walked. He called and called. And he looked and he looked for his dog Mudge. He walked down one road and down another road. The sun shone as Henry ran through a field, calling and calling. The birds flew past as he stood beside a stream, calling and calling. And the tears fell again and he looked at the empty pine trees for his lost dog. Mudge, he called one last time. And Mudge woke up. Whoops, I forgot to show you the page. And Mudge woke up from his lonely sleep, then came running Every day when Henry woke up, he saw Mudge's big head. And every day when Mudge woke up, he saw Henry's small face. They ate breakfast at the same time. They ate supper at the same time. And when Henry was at school, Mudge just laid around and waited. Mudge never went for a walk without Henry again. And Henry never worried that Mudge would leave. See there? Their breakfast, they both have their dishes. And supper, they have their dishes. And Mudge is just waiting for Henry to get home from school. Because sometimes in their dreams, they saw long, silent roads, big, wide fields, deep streams, and pine trees. In those dreams, Mudge was alone, and Henry was alone. So when Mudge woke up, he knew Henry was with him. He remembered the dream and stayed closer. They're really good friends now, aren't they? And when Henry woke up and knew Mudge was with him, he remembered the dream and the looking and the calling and the fear, and he knew he would never lose Mudge again. And there, whoops, let me get to the right page. This is the last page of the book. So that's our story about Mudge and Henry, and Henry and Mudge. And they love each other very much now. So the next one, that's the first book. The next one will be Henry and Mudge and Annie's Good Move. That'll be our next story. The next time I see you, I'll read you this one. Have a good night. I love you all. Bye-bye.